Hello everyone and welcome to Midnight Channel, this is Kuro and today we'll be discussing a game that has been out for a while but the reason for that uh, discussion is because of some news updates and that will be Final Fantasy XV uh, so as many of you know Final Fantasy XV has been out for over two years and it has a series of um, unfortunate events happening to that uh, game. Uh, so the uh, news update first of all is because Final Fantasy XV DLC was cancelled. A lot of the DLC that was planned out to come out has uh, announced to be cancelled and in uh, Square Enix update. Um, the director that actually finished Final Fantasy XV and to get it off development hell, uh, Hajime Tabata has actually left uh, Square Enix. So this is very interesting and this puts Final Fantasy XV in a very interesting position. Um, but uh, before uh, going any further with this, uh, I'll just talk about the news. Uh, they actually were talking about how they lost uh, 3.733 million yen, uh, just a little bit over 25 million uh, in, the pro in the production because um, they... Uh, Square Enix actually invested a lot into a new studio, uh, which Tavatas was supposed to be taking care of um, Luminous Productions. And uh, to a lot of people, this will be a, a, a bit shocking, but to me, I, I saw this coming miles away uh, with Final Fantasy 15 release. And as, as you all know, Final Fantasy 15 didn't release with the best highlights uh, back when it was announced originally as Final Fantasy 13 that was all, um, almost over to 10 years ago and that game was stuck in development hell for a long time later re labeled as Final Fantasy 15 as it came out uh, the game uh, came out unfinished with an ending that uh, didn't take much and uh, Honestly, uh, my, myself was very disappointed with the game, uh, but Final Fantasy uh, 15 did come around and was patched up a couple times uh, and uh, there was a vague update that happened almost uh, uh, six, seven, eight months later and that um, a lot of people say that it did fix a lot of the stuff. I actually didn't come back and play it uh, because I was very frustrated. Um, I did get to play a lot of the DLC that, because I have a friend that bought them, uh, purchased the DLC and uh, invited me over to play them and I did get a chance to play episode Gladio and Ignis and um, Pronto so I, I did get a chance to play those but uh, the reason why I didn't purchase them because I was very upset with Square Enix regarding the way that they handled this game uh, Square Enix has shown that they are not um, the best at organizing and this really shows how bad it can get uh, so uh, I am glad they lost this money actually I am uh, I, I'm sorry to say this as a fan I want them to grow I want them to do better uh, but let this be a lesson let this be a lesson about um, organization and about uh, they make really good games but you cannot just drop a game that is not ready and finished charge of the amount and then expect fans to pay for future DLC to complete the story uh, that is just something that shouldn't be done if uh, Atlas uh, had done the same thing with Persona 5 I would have still been still as upset as in other companies do it uh, many times uh, the fiasco with um, what was it again the Bungie and, and the um, Destiny games is exactly the same way um, So, you know, like this is not the only publisher that does this But let this be a lesson to be learned uh, regarding this That you should not be releasing unreleased projects at the, out of the open It shouldn't happen and it happens all the time um, Fallout 76 is getting released uh, unfinished you know the beta finished already and the games are in release next week so obviously how much are they going to be able to get patched up uh for yeah uh i am i'm glad that they lost this money hopefully this will be a good lesson for them to reorganize themselves and hopefully uh kingdom hearts which i will be reviewing and talking more about as it comes out um 
will be in finished condition and it'll be a good game uh, and I really wish them the best I hope that, that they can move from this and uh, become the developer that, that has made so many amazing games because Square Enix has made a lot of great games and uh, I just want them to do better because they can definitely do better and I know they can they just have to they just need a little push and I hope that this push is enough for them to to be a wake-up call and get back on track uh, so regarding the game like I said earlier uh, it came on in, in early, uh, late 2016 the game had a beautiful graphics and it still looks good, holds itself good in next two, uh, two years afterwards. Uh, I'm showing some early gameplay here. Um, story wise, is really what the issue was. Uh, I didn't have an issue with the fighting um, style they chose. I know a lot of people uh, disliked it, but I love hack and slash, so it, was, uh, it wasn't a problem for me. Overall, I uh, just I just want them to do better. I, I, I know that this project wasn't, it didn't come out under the best circumstances, and you can tell. You can tell that there was passion put into it. It just wasn't enough time. Yeah, Ten years wasn't enough time, uh, but it's not. It, it you know it, it can be better next time. Uh, well, uh, that's it for now. All my sources will be listed down below. All the articles that I quoted this from, and. Um, if, uh, if you have any comments about Final Fantasy 15, you liked it, you hated it, uh, you agree with me, you disagree with me, just let me know. I know a lot of fans uh, tend to be really protective about this, and I'm, trust me, I am a fan. I love all Final Fantasy games. I own a lot of them in original cases, uh, such as Final Fantasy 7, Final, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, uh, uh, 13 I own it too but I, it was not my favorite either but um, but yeah you know like I love the franchise I love uh, the Kingdom Hearts uh, franchise as well and I want them to do better I just know they can do better than this well thank you so much for that, uh, watching this video and like again if you have any qu uh, questions concerns or anything you want to com comment about please let me know in the comments below uh, don't forget to like the video and or subscribe and uh, thank you